We'll start this section lying on the back, as you see David and Rini, with the knees bent, feet on the floor, and the knees and feet separated about hip width apart. We'll start with the arms at the sides, palms facing down. And feel the difference now as you simply move the palms to face up. And then go ahead and roll the palms back down to the floor. And now pay attention to the shoulders and the upper back as you once again turn the palms to face up. So in this position now we're going to concentrate on the shoulders. Do a very subtle movement, but a movement that will strengthen the muscles that run along the spine by simply pressing the shoulders. So I want you to first become aware of your breathing. And let your belly rise as you breathe in. And then you can use your abdominal muscles as you breathe out to pull the belly back into the body. Aware of each breath in and each breath out. So start with a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, press your shoulders back and down into the floor. And then as you breathe in again, release your shoulders and let them soften. And let's do that for the next several breaths. As you breathe in, do nothing. As you breathe out, press the shoulders down into the mat. Feel an even lifting off the floor. As you breathe in, you relax the shoulders. Exhaling and pressing, inhaling and releasing. We'll continue to work with the breathing and couple the breath with the movement. So the next movement will also be very simple and it's to extend one leg at a time and then pull it back. So we'll start on the right side. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, pull the belly in and extend the right leg along the floor. Flex the ankle and press through the heel. Now take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull that knee back, pull the foot back to the floor. And on the left side, deep breath in. And as you exhale, extend the leg, press through the foot. Take another breath in and stretch that leg longer. Another breath in, and as you exhale, bend the knee, place the foot on the floor. Good. Deep breath in and out. So we're going to do that movement with the leg again, and this time add the arm. We're going to use the same arm as the leg that's moving. So we'll start on the right side with the right leg and the right arm. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, extend your leg. As you lift your arm overhead, you can slide it along the floor and stretch long. And keep the leg and arm there. With each exhalation, stretch deeper and further. And then on the exhale, lower the arm, bend the knee, and bring the foot to the floor. Good. And now we'll do the other side. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, extend the left leg and the left arm reaches above the head. Stretch long and then work with each exhalation. Each time you breathe out, extend that leg further. Reach further with the fingers. Good. And now, after the next inhalation, as you breathe out, return the arm to the side, bend the knee and place the foot on the floor. Good. Deep breath in and out. And now we'll move both legs and both arms. The arms move overhead as the legs straighten. So start with a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slide both legs out. Flex the ankles. Press through the heels as you take the arms overhead and reach long. Stretch with the fingers and reach with the feet. And now using your breath again, after the next breath in, as you exhale, stretch more on the right side, stretching through the right heel and the right hand, really reaching long and relaxing it. Taking another breath in. And as you exhale, stretching the left side, reaching with the left fingers and the left foot, reaching and releasing. And now stretching the fingers away from the body, a beautiful long stretch. 
and we'll return on the exhalation. So start with a deep breath in. As you exhale, slide the arms back down to the sides, bend the knees, and bring the feet to the floor. You can turn the palms down at the sides and separate the feet so that they are hip width apart. And I'll do this next section with you. So like you, I'm lying down on my back. Knees are bent, feet are on the floor, palms facing down. We're going to move the right knee into the chest first. So start with a breath in. And as you exhale, pull the right knee into the chest. You can lift the arms and pull that knee in. So hold this position for the next several breaths. With each exhalation, pulling the knee in. And this movement pulls the thigh against the ascending colon. To return the foot to the floor, start with a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release the knee, bring the foot to the floor. And let's do the other side. Deep breath in. As you exhale, pull the knee into the chest, pull the abdominal muscles in. Be aware of your breathing. And with each breath out, you want to pull that knee in a little closer. And the thigh against the belly stimulates the descending colon. Then to release the knee, take a deep breath in and release the knee and bring the foot to the floor. Next time we'll bring both legs in. So start with a deep breath in and as you exhale, lift the feet off the floor and pull the knees in. Bring the knees together and the feet together. And again, with each exhalation, you pull the knees in And this movement of the thighs against the belly stimulates the transverse colon. In just a moment, we're going to modify this position by drawing the knees and feet to the sides of the body. So start with a deep breath in. And as you exhale, separate the knees, separate the feet, and pull the knees in. Again, aware of each breath in and out. And we'll move from here to bring the feet together, keeping the knees wide. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the bottoms of the feet together. You can reach with the hands to the ankles and pull those feet towards you, letting the knees be wide. Aware of each breath in and each breath out. Now we're going to leave the knees wide and lift the feet right above the knees. The feet come up to the ceiling. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lift the feet up. If you can reach the feet and hold on to them, then pull them down and the knees stay wide. If you can't reach the feet, then you can just hold on at the legs and pull them down. Feet are right above the knees and the knees are wide. If you can reach the feet, this, is, this pose is affectionately known as happy baby pose. We'll move the feet back together. So start with a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring the soles of the feet together. And then lower the feet all the way to the floor, keeping the knees wide. Again, be aware of your breathing. Deep breath in. Full breath out. On each exhalation, you can emphasize pulling the belly in, working the abdominal muscles. And the next move will be to simply lift the knees and come to the bottoms of the feet to the floor. So go ahead and take a breath in. As you exhale, go ahead and draw the knees together. Bring the feet to the floor and separate the feet about hip width apart. Take your arms to move all the way out to the sides, palms facing down. 
We're going to roll the knees over to the right side. And as we do that, we'll take the head to look opposite. So starting with a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly let the knees drop to the right. Keep the feet on the floor and roll them to the edges of the feet. And as the knees come to one side, the head looks opposite. With each exhalation, use the top knee to press towards the floor even more to increase the stretch that comes along the side. Then take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, return the head and knees back to center. Now turn the palms to face up. And we'll go to the other side. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, roll the knees over to the left. And the head looks opposite toward the right. Again, be aware of each breath in and out. And each time you breathe out, press a little bit deeper with the top knee. Again, like the other side, stretching the side and the hip. And then take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the head and knees back to center. You can lower the arms to the sides once again and turn the palms to face down. The next pose is called thread the needle. And so take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lift the right foot off the floor and place it at the left knee. With your next exhaling breath, push that right knee away from you. Now this may be enough stretch for you in this position, so you may want to stay here. And I'm going to ask Rini to stay in this position. And David and I will move into a deeper stretch, but know that it's not necessary if you feel like you're getting the maximum stretch here. So in just a moment, David and I will breathe in and lift the other foot off the floor. So go ahead and breathe in. As you exhale, pull the belly in, lift the left foot off the floor, and you can take the hands to hold either behind the thigh or on top of the knee and pull that knee toward you. So if you're doing this, I don't need to tell you, it creates an intense stretch in the back of the leg and the buttock. But what's also happening is the interior muscles of the hip are working, the psoas muscle. So David, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower that foot to the floor, the left foot to the floor. And then all of us together, deep breath in. And on the exhalation, lift the right foot from the left knee and bring the foot to the floor. And we'll do this with the other leg, taking a deep breath in. And on the exhalation, pulling the belly in, lifting the left foot and placing it at the right knee. Take a deep breath in. And gently push that left knee away from you. You can continue to hold this position or move into the deeper stretch. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, pull the belly in and lift the right foot off the floor, and you can pull the thigh in towards the chest. Again, holding either in the back of the thigh or the top of the leg. With our next exhalation, we'll release the right foot to the floor. So take a breath in. And then exhale, lower the right foot to the floor, bring the hands to the sides. And then all of us together, deep breath in. And release the left foot from the right knee, bring the foot to the floor. Once again, full breath in. And long, slow breath out. So for this next exercise, we're going to be working on strengthening the abdominal area. It's a very subtle exercise, but works strongly the abdominals. So take a deep breath in, 
And as you exhale, really pull the abdominal area in, firm the abdominal area, and see if you can hold the abdominal area in as you continue to breathe. You may need to shift the breathing into the rib cage and let that expand. Now with the abdominals pulled in tight, lift the feet off the floor and put very little pressure on the feet as if you had a potato chip underneath each foot and you didn't want to crush it. So we'll move one leg at a time, starting with the right. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, pull the abs in strongly and lift the right foot off the floor. Take a breath in again. And as you exhale, lower the right foot to the floor. Again, very light pressure. Breath in. As you exhale, lift the left foot off the floor. Pull the abs in strongly. Breath in and lower the left foot on the exhalation. Twice more, deep breath in, pull in the belly and lift the right foot. Deep breath in, and lower the right foot to the floor, just barely touching. And on the left, deep breath in, exhale and lift the left foot off the floor. Breath in, and lower the leg down. And again on the right, deep breath in, lifting the leg, deep breath in, and lower the right foot to the floor, just barely touching. And on the left, deep breath in, lift the leg on the exhalation, deep breath in, and lower the leg to the floor. And then place the feet firmly on the floor and you can walk the feet a step or two closer to the buttocks as we prepare to do the half bridge pose. So you can leave the palms down at the sides. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, press the shoulders in and slowly lift the hips up. See if you can make a straight line from the knees to the shoulders. Aware of each breath in, aware of each breath out. Press evenly with the bottoms of the feet. In this pose, there's a tendency for the knees to separate. You want to pull the knees together. It may be that you're ready to come down out of this pose now. So if so, on your next exhaling breath, slowly lower your hips down. Otherwise, you can continue to hold. And as you hold from the muscles of the buttocks, and the legs. So let's go ahead and come down. First starting with a deep breath in and then lowering the hips all the way down. Deep breath in and out. We'll do the half bridge pose again but with the arms above the head. So turn the palms to face up. Slide the arms along the floor overhead And once again, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly lift the hips off the floor, again making a straight line from the knees to the shoulders. Notice the difference that this position of the arms makes in the shoulders. Again, you want to press evenly into the entire bottom of each foot and firm the thigh muscles. Exert a gentle pressure on the thighs, pulling them towards one another, keeping them evenly spaced, just as the feet are. Again, when you feel yourself no longer comfortable or steady in this position, it's the time to come down. So after an inhalation, you slowly lower the hips down. If you're continuing to hold, take a couple more breaths. And then take a deep breath in. And on the exhalation, go ahead and lower the hips all the way down. Bring the arms back down at the sides. Palms facing down.
We'll take one more twist and that's pulling the knees all the way in. So take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull the knees into the chest. You can lift the hands and press the knees down. We'll move into a twist with the knees in this position. So go ahead and release your hands right to the sides. Turn the palms to face up. We'll go to the right side first. So start with a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, slowly bring your knees to the right. And as the knees move to the right, the head looks opposite to the left. Take a deep breath in and out. Follow each breath. And then to return, another deep breath in. And on the exhalation, moving the knees and head back to center. So we'll go to the left side now. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly drop the legs down to the left as the head looks opposite to the right. As you do these twists, there's a tendency to allow the opposite shoulder to lift up. You want to pull the shoulder to the floor and stretch through the arm. And now take a deep breath in. And on the exhalation, return the head and knees back to center. Let's do this one more time, palms facing down. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently roll the knees over to the right side. And you can deepen the pose by taking the right hand on top of the knees and gently pressing the knees down. Head looks opposite. And you work to keep the opposite hand, arm, and shoulder on the ground. To deepen the twist, you can take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, move the belly button opposite the knees. And now to come out, take a deep breath in. And move the knees and head back to center. And to the other side, right arm is on the floor, palm facing down. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, move the knees over to the left. You can pick up the left hand and place it on top of the knees to give a little bit more stretch. Again, opposite shoulder, the right shoulder presses into the floor. Head looks opposite the knees. Aware of each breath in and out. And to return, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the knees and head back to center. And now go ahead and roll all the way over to your side to come up to a seated position. And sit on your mat with your legs extended, feet flexed, and hands right at the sides. As you press down with your palms, lift your spine. Pull the shoulders slightly back and slightly down. Extend the legs, firm the muscles of the legs. Pull the toes back and stretch through the heels. One line of energy runs from the hips out through the heels and you keep the legs active. And the other line of energy is running up the spine from the hips through the top of the head. So pull the shoulders back. If you can find the shoulder blades, pull them closer together and down into the back. Lifting the chest, broadening the shoulders. And so as you're aware of each breath, really feeling the pose active, lifting the toes back towards you, really stretching through the heels and lifting the spine top of the head high. Take one more deep breath in and out. Then breathe in again. And then relax your pose and soften 
And this brings us to the end of this exercise sequence.